After decades of turmoil, court battles, and animosity between the four brothers, ultimately Charles and David became the main shareholders for Coke Industries. Their combined share value was 42%, and their combined net worth at the time of David's death was $52.1 billion, the two richest men in the United States. But how exactly do the Koch brothers make their money? And more importantly, how do they spend it? Today, we'll be talking about the billionaire lifestyle of the Koch brothers. Let's get started. Who are the Koch brothers? Koch Industries is one of America's largest privately held multi-billion dollar industries founded in 1940 by Fred C. Koch. Besides owning exclusive rights to the production of the Dixie Cup and Northern Quilted Toilet Paper, Coke Industries is primarily responsible for the mining, refining, and distribution of petroleum and chemicals in the United States. Unsurprisingly, they're also not in favor of any talk about climate change. After Fred's death, the family business was to be divided amongst Coke's four sons, Frederick, Charles, David, and William. In June of 1983, a bitter legal battle between the four brothers came to a conclusion with David and Charles buying out Frederick and William's combined shares in the family business for $1.1 billion. When talking about the Koch brothers, one therefore usually refers only to David and Charles. Born in 1935, Charles de Ganal Koch is an American businessman listed as the 21st richest person in the world with an estimated net worth of $61.1 billion. Charles has been the co-owner and CEO of Coke Industries since 1967. At the time he inherited Coke Industries, the corporation was focused primarily on refining and distributing petroleum and chemical energy-based products. Today, Coke Industries produces process and pollution control equipment and technologies, polymers and fibers, minerals, fertilizers, commodity trading and services, forest and consumer products, and ranching. Born in 1940, David Hamilton Coke was the youngest of the Coke brothers. He served as the executive director of Coke Industries from 1970 until his death in 2019. On top of being a billionaire businessman, David was widely regarded as being a philanthropist with a hand in several of the United States' leading nonprofit organizations. He was also heavily involved in politics. Fred C. Koch has been working as a chemical engineer and literally worked his way up to becoming a billionaire at a time when that number seemed like a fictional concept. His second oldest son, Charles, took a keen interest in his father's work and began working for Koch Industries when he was only 26 years old. With none of his other sons being as forthcoming as Charles, Fred made him the CEO of Coke Industries at the time of his retirement. Coke Industries ran as it had before, with no legal battles between the brothers ensuing as of yet. Then, while on a hunting trip in Utah, Fred died, and the brothers were left to sort out a single multi-billion dollar fortune four ways. Interestingly enough, at the time of Fred's death, Charles found a handwritten note from his father that said, if you choose to let this money destroy your initiative and independence, then it will be a curse to you, and my action in giving it to you will have been a mistake. Charles had been managing operations for close to five years on his own when David joined Coke Industries. The same year their brother Bill also displayed an interest in running the family business. This is where tensions began between the three. In 1980, Bill ran a siege to overtake the company from his brothers, but was vested and presented with a $400,000 clearance check along with a termination letter. Bill didn't take kindly to this and teamed up with the oldest Coke brother, Fred Jr., to reclaim Coke Industries. In 1983, after three years in and out of courts, the four brothers ultimately reached a settlement wherein Charles and David netted out $1.1 billion to both brothers, 6.2 million to Bill, and 4 million to Frederick. From 1983 onwards, there were only two publicly known Koch brothers. How did the Koch brothers spend their money? The age-old question, what would you do if you had a billion dollars? Well, the Koch brothers actually have a billion dollars. To start, their spendings include support for libertarian and republican platforms. In 2018, Coke Industries gave $1,325,115 to congressional candidates. The top recipients of the Koch's money were Republicans Marsha Blackburn, Orrin Hatch, Lee Zeldin, Ron Estes, and Karen Handel. 
They're also known for actively taking part in movements and campaigns for Republicans and Libertarians in their native state of Kansas. There's some evidence to suggest that the reason the Koch brothers dish out such a huge amount to these particular political parties is to support their own agendas, and even earn brownie points with favorable allies. But the brothers deny any such intentions. In any case, as an interesting fact, David Koch was an active donor for cancer research and contributed heavily to art museums in the United States. The brothers have made several philanthropic efforts, both together under Koch industry and individually. In 1953, the Fred and Mary Koch Foundation was set up. The foundation contains several other Koch-based trusts and has the prime agenda of utilizing money in the public and private sector in the United States. For example, both Koch brothers have donated to public and private schools, real estate agencies, and art-based projects. The brothers are also known for spending their money on luxurious living. David Koch owns an entire plaza in Manhattan, and Charles resides in a luxurious mansion in Wichita. What products does Koch Industries make? Originally an oil company, Koch Industries has since ventured into various fields of operation although their primary production remains oil-based and energy production. Fred Koch was a chemical engineer, and his prime focus, therefore, remained on the production and distribution of energy-based products and services. Charles and David, on the other hand, were businessmen with a more business-forward mindset for the company. Through excessive cash flow, the business overtook several other companies. The brothers realized that there were several investments to be made in several domains outside of energy, and took their indispensable income to form other subsidiaries that produced a range of products. The company bought Georgia Pacific, Infor, Guardian Industries, Flint Hills Resources LP, Invista, Coke Minerals, Matador Cattle Company, Molex, and more. It's a vertically and horizontally integrated business that grew through aggressive acquisitions. The company collectively employs over 130,000 people across 70 countries although most are Americans. Today, Coke Industries produces oil, resins, polymers, glass, robotics, biofuel, paper, and toilet paper. You know about the popular Dixie Cup? Well, the Coke brothers own exclusive rights to it. Coke Industries now has amassed a collective value of 100 billion through all their subsidiaries. After a lengthy legal battle between the two pairs of brothers, David and Charles became the majority shareholders of the company. They were usually referred to as the Koch brothers, and would be nominated for being at the same position on the world's richest people list, until David's death in 2019. The brothers worked together to expand Koch Industries from being a medium-sized oil firm to the multi-billion dollar business it is today. They expanded the company from one domain into several hundreds. That's all for today's video on the billionaire lifestyle of the Koch brothers. What do you think of these figures? let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. We'll see you back soon. Bye!